Time. New Haven police are targeting drug dealers as they go undercover to clean up the streets. News 8's Sandy Rourke went along with them on the raids. New Haven is fighting back after an increase in violent crimes. Police are going after drug dealers and early morning undercover raids. News 8 went with them. News 8 was there as they stormed this house on West Ivy Street in New Haven. We can't show them going in and we can't show you the undercover cops. But you can see how big the response is here. This is one of more than a dozen homes on their radar. These are areas that are targeted for specific for drug drug uh, related activity for gang activity usually the people within these residences we're going to are armed there are risks going in you never know what's going to be on the other side of the door you have to be prepared for for anything but we train for it and we're confident in our abilities the targets were identified through surveillance intelligence gathering and undercover cops buying the product at this home once it was secure they brought in the canine unit crack cocaine and marijuana were both found the benton brothers isaiah and james were arrested along with their mother vivian then it is on to the next location. I'm shocked. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about it. Neighbors watching the cavalry go in say they are glad the police are cracking down, but it all starts in the home. Without the jobs and education and the leadership from the home, it's really hard, you know, so you just got to keep praying. With the FBI naming New Haven as the fourth most dangerous place in the country, police want folks to know they are out here today and every day. What we do here is, is directly re related to the violence in the city, and this is what we're doing this for, exactly. But it is hit or miss. The person they were looking for here on Highland Street was not home. They made no arrests at this house and found no drugs. They said they will continue the investigation. On the scene in New Haven, I'm Annie Rourke, News 8.